but I hope everybody's doing good. How is everyone? Everybody having a good, a good summer so far? See thumbs up. Awesome. So, um, I know that you guys have all, all taken class with me before, but, um, just so everybody is aware, we're the focus of all of these classes. Oh, hi, Kat's joining us. Great. Um, is to zoom in on one type of animal and to kind of study the anatomy of that animal and help uh, to help us kind of get better at drawing it. And I'm going to show you how to break down um, uh, the animal of today into simple shapes to help you draw it. And every week I have been picking an animal, uh, but this this week, I if you joined last week, I think I asked for recommendations. Uh, so a lot of you had said ocean animals. <laughs> uh, actually, there's a lot of people who said snakes too. And I, Scott reminded me there was a giraffe. I totally forgot about the giraffe. But um, I thought that it would be kind of fun to focus on um, the ocean. So we're gonna start with a dolphin. And when you get into ocean creatures, the, the, the anatomy is um, very different than that of, oh wait, hold on, let's see that, Oliver. It's very different than that of um, like a cat or a, a dog. Whoa, hold so on. That's I've been drawing ocean creatures for the past week. No way. Oh, well then you so are like on target. That's awesome. So I have like dolphin fish, lemon sharks, oh, um, wow. tiger sharks. I have whale sharks, but probably my favorite shark that I have is either uh, my nurse shark. Uh huh. Oh, or that's a cool one. My hammerhead shark. That's oh, the hammerhead's really, really nicely done. Um, Oliver, are you looking when you're drawing? I'm just curious. Are you looking at pictures of these animals? Yeah, I am. Yeah. But uh, my fish favorites are my yellow, um, my um, my yellow finned tuna. Okay. My my dolphin fish. It's not mm -hmm. actually a dolphin. It's yeah. called a mahi mahi. Uh huh. And then I have this seahorse as well. Ooh, nice. And I have my ocean sunfish oh wow that's awesome that's really really good i'm very impressed Thanks. i'm very very impressed at all of these animals and i'm also I, I love that you're actually looking at pictures of the animals when you're drawing them um it looks like the way you've drawn them and the colors that you've picked you've kind of simplified them and you've drawn them um a little bit more on the um more cartoon-esque side with like a nice thick black border and some solid colors which is really nice um, which takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. So the way I've been doing this, oh, hi, Tater, welcome. Hi, Kat, you saw you just joined us. The way I've been doing this is we've been kind of focusing in on the anatomy of an animal, and we've been trying to draw that animal in a more realistic style, which then you can kind of break down and simplify and turn it into a more cartoon, cartoonified, I keep saying that word. I don't know if it's an actual word. It's a word I made up a more cartoonish, cartoonified uh, version of your animal. Um, and a lot of animators and cartoonists do this when they're creating their um, characters. So they, if your character is a cat, like Tom and Jerry, or sorry, like Tom, um, you, uh, Chuck Jones probably studied and drew cats, um, uh, and the anatomically correct cats, cats that are more on the realistic, on the realistic side. And then he took that knowledge with him when he broke it down. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, making, I'm making up words here. Cartoonified. It's a new word. <laughs> um, yeah. So can I just say one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Well, um, this um, cartoon style I draw is um, so um, I, I don't. It's like I either watch 40s or 30s cartoons. I'm not that much of a fan of the 50s stuff, mm -hmm. even though that's where like most of the iconic Bugs Bunny was from, like hair, um, like rabbit seasoning, but um, and mm -hmm. and stuff like What's Up or Doc. But um, but I like looking at the older cartoons like Fleischer Studios and one of my favorite um, Looney Tunes cartoons, Fresh Fish which is where I get um, all my inspiration from. But um, what I'm going to do next with my sea creatures is I'm going to um, include their names 
with like a joke like sort of like the nurse shark will be like wearing one of those like doctor hats or something like that oh that's awesome that's great I love it so yeah you're putting like a like a twist on the name like nurse shark or um like hammerhead would be like carrying a hammer like (laughs) we have a tool belt or something like that I totally get it that's really really cool very cool I love I love this I love this this plan um Awesome. I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. You clearly have done your, your research and you have inspiration, which is awesome. So um, one of the things that I was looking at is, I, and I actually have a picture up next to me, that's why I'm turning my head, is that I was looking at all of the different um, anatomy of the dolphin, <laughs> because a dolphin's anatomy is very different than that of like a cat or a dog or um, any of the animals, a, a, a rabbit, or any of the animals that we kind of have been drawing in weeks up till now. And, um, and it kind of can help you know what's going on underneath the skin. So in a dolphin's case, it, when you're looking at a picture of it, I didn't print one out today, so you're just gonna have to Google it yourself. Dolphin anatomy is what I Googled, but you'll find, you'll find lots and lots of pictures of what's there. But they have, they still have like, the ribs which are wrapping around the dolphin's body. Um, the dolphin still has a nice long curved spine which extends all the way out to its, its, um, its, its tail at the end which is called a fluke, your fluke tail. Um, and it, a dolphin, because it's in water, it, it's covered in blubber. <laughs> and the blubber is what helps keep it warm when the water is cold. So, all right. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to break it down. All right. Let me switch cameras. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody else want to share anything that they've been working um, on? Yeah, well, I have a, I have one comment. Yeah, sure. it's like, so when I was studying um, the ocean sunfish for one of my drawings, mm-hmm. um, the anatomy is actually quite different to what they actually look like. Really? If you search it up, it's quite amazing. It's like, it's it's like. It's not like, it's not like a huge round skeleton. It's like, it's, it's sort of like, it's sort of like a normal fish's, a, a normal fish's anatomy. Oh, weird. Which is, That's so it, it, Well, I think that that just shows you how it's cool to, cool to see what's underneath the skin. I know that for me, when I was drawing birds, it, it was the, I think that was the most interesting to see these, these, the, what goes underneath a, a bird's feathers <laughs> and how the arm is really its wing. All right, so if I'm gonna start a dolphin, one of the ways that I like to kind of break it down into simple shapes is to start with an oval. So I'm gonna kind of go lightly. I'm gonna start with kind of like a, like an oval that's turned on the side. I'll go a little darker, darker so you can see, sorry guys. Normally I draw a little, little lighter than this, but for you guys. So the reason I start with this nice oval is because this oval like kind of tilted onto its side is going to give me that right curve for the top of the dolphin. So if I'm going to actually, if I'm going to draw another line that's kind of matching, it's kind of curving around like this. Let me do a little darker for you. You can already start to see that this is gonna be the dolphin's body. Obviously, we have to add in some of the parts, but if I was gonna break down the, um, the shapes of the body, like you have obviously a triangle down here, it's just gonna be for its, um, its fluke tail. And we're gonna, we're gonna add in the details later. I'm just breaking it down to super, super, super simple shapes. And then up at the top, you have a triangle up here, which is going to be for its dorsal fin. So this is the one at the, uh, the top of the dolphin's body, the dorsal fin. And it also has two flippers. So one flipper, if we do a smaller triangle that's coming down here, this is going to be the one that's kind of behind his body. And there might be another one, another flipper, coming up right around here in the middle. So I can, I can, I can make it a full triangle if I want, but I'm just going to end up erasing that line. <laughs> so, all right. So now that I have kind of some of the things broken out, I also can do a small oval kind of here. That's going to be for where the, the, the nose of the dolphin, it dolphin's body goes. So a dolphin does have a, a little brain, a little skull up in here. 
So when his head it like curves down and around and it kind of comes out and then he's got like a, I'm going to erase a little bit so that I don't get confused when I'm drawing. Here's some of these extra lines underneath. He's got like, like a, a top and almost like a, bo a little bottom lip going on there. Hey, okay. yeah. So dolphins also do, they have like, I don't know if you've ever seen a dolphin at, you know, at a, a, a park or anything, or if you've like, or a, like a seaport sea park or even in the ocean, actually I took a boat tour a few years ago and like you, they're really cool in California. They'll, they'll just swim right up next to your boat. Um, and when they open up their mouth there, they actually have really sharp teeth. <laughs> and it's because they, they, they live off of, um, fish, it's like smaller fish. So I'm going to kind of follow around back here. So there's, there's a couple of lines here. There's like a, a curved line here that actually kind of curves around. It's, um, it's just like a, I don't know what the name is. It's just like a, like a door. It's like a wrinkle that they have. And then the eye is going to kind of be at the back of that wrinkle kind of back here. Move it back there. You might even have like another one up here. Some, sometimes they do. Picture of the one that I'm looking at kind of does. So I'll add it in. Excuse okay. me, Lee. Yeah. Uh, are you able to zoom in just a I little maybe? Can. There you go. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Thank Thanks you. For, yeah, no worries. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, it's, I know it's a little tricky to see. And I'm also, it's a little tricky because I'm, I'm drawing in a little lightly. All right. So now I'm going to, now that I have these basic shapes in, now I'm going to start to clean up some of these lines. So like I said, I'm kind of going for a little bit more of a realistic look. So I'm really looking at the picture I'm using. I'm noticing that this um, dorsal fin really does kind of curve around and then down. I forgot to mention that today I'm going to actually break out some um, watercolor pencils uh, just, just because I, have, I, I rarely use them. <laughs> I thought it might be kind of fun to use them today to add some color into this. Um, a lot, I'm going to do a kind of a curved back here. It's this back flipper. And then back here is also kind of like a curved one that kind of comes up and around like that. And then if you follow the back, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to erase this line. I don't need it anymore. That oval was only to help me kind of get that, get that curve going. Oop, let me focus again. Sorry, guys. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to do his or its a fluke, fluke fins, fluke tail. So it kind of comes down and then it curves up just a little bit in my picture over. Curves a little bit down. There's like a rounded, the round, there's like a rounded, rounded tip to the bottom of his, of his uh, fin. Kind of like that. Dolphins are really smart. They're really smart and they're really social. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Yeah, the dolphins have their own language and this special little organ in their head that's sort of like a guitar string. And that's what makes them talk. They also have their own individual names and they're one of the only creatures that still play when they're full grown adults. Wow. Wait, they're, 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 they still play when they're full grown adults, you mean? Yeah, like they, they play with yeah. each other. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I love that you, I feel like I need you to just tell us while I'm drawing, can you just tell us facts about dolphins that you know? <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, they are just very, very playful, very playful, very like, um, they take care of their young for a pretty long time. Um, and they always travel in pods and families. And um, so they do have, like I said, they do have bones. They're the bones inside of their flipper that, that, that when you look at it, they all do kind of almost look like fingers, little flanges. And yeah, they, they have, oh, go ahead. Um, well, uh, well, whales, one of their relatives, they do have finger bones, just not any fingers. Yep, exactly. All right, so I'm noticing that I, I like the shape of this. I think that his, his snout is a little bit long, so I'm gonna clean up that line a little bit. And then I, like I said, I'm gonna, I, like, I, don't, I don't usually use watercolor pencils, but I happen to have, I found my set when I was looking in a drawer today. And I was like, oh, I should use them, so why not? 
why not try something a little different? Um, so I'm gonna make this a little round, more rounded. But, okay. All right. And um, I'm so when I'm gonna I'm gonna try to add in some of like one of the things that really makes a dolphin look a little more or less realistic is the shading. So I'm actually going to lay down a couple of layers of color. So I'm using this is just a General's brand Kimberly watercolor set, and this is a light blue. So I'm gonna lay down a layer of light blue um, in my watercolor set to kind of just give me a base layer to work with. I, it's funny because I usually, when I choose to do watercolors, I either break out real watercolors or I will, um, or I just, I will use a different medium. So I never think to use watercolor pencils, but they they can kind of be nice in that, like, they're, they're not messy. So I'm just laying down like a, a layer of color and it's through the color that I'm going to add in shadows and, um, and highlights. So I'm actually, obviously the underside of his, his body is going to be darker. So I might press a little bit darker to get a slight amount of shading here, but I'm going to go in with other colors to really darken up all of the, the shadows. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and outline his, his fin in a, uh, the blue. And there's going to be shadows all around that. So this is just a base layer to work with. In the last drawing I did, I worked on, um, instead of a white piece of paper, I used um, a, a piece of, of uh, medium tone paper. And it, that can be nice to, to use a, a piece of, of, of toned paper. It's called toned tan paper. And it's, it can be kind of nice to use paper like that only because um, it, you're not starting from white. <laughs> So a lot of times when you're making um, a drawing that looks more or less realistic, you it's all about building up the contrast in the layers. So working working in layers and adding more and more and more until you get a nice um, strong contrast between your lights and your darks. And the if you start from a piece of white paper, it can take a lot longer and it's a lot more work to lay down the colors. Um, and if you start with a toned piece, like you're already starting with like a mid-tone, you're already starting with a, somewhere in the middle. So you, you don't have to work as hard to, to go as dark. So here I have to work real hard to go nice and dark in the areas that I want because I'm starting on white paper. Okay, I'm already going to start to like kind of build in a little bit of the shadow. So everywhere underneath is going to be a little darker because he's jumping. So if you imagine this, this is a dolphin that's jumping out of the, uh, out of the ocean, like the water is going to be down here somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to draw it in, but the water is going to be down there. And so his underside, the sun, the light is going to be hitting him on the top. We'll take a darker color. This is just the 703 blue, and I'm going to use it to start to highlight in some of the spots. So even though the part at the top is going to be a little bit lighter, like right up here is actually a little bit of a darker color just by virtue of the I think the way he's curving the lights coming from this direction also a lot of so I actually saw a picture the other day of it was crazy it was a a pair of um really really rare albino dolphins was spotted together uh, I don't remember where they were they were found but there was like a pair of them that, that was spotted um and it's just, you don't see albino dolphins ever. And they're really, really rarely in the wild. Um, and so it was really, really cool to see not one, but two, a pair of them. And when I, I saw a picture of it, I wish I, I, I could print it out for you guys. But my printer is not, it's a little bit on the fritz. That's why I don't have anything to show you right now. But um, uh, it, what was really, really neat was um, you could see like all the scratches and lines on the uh, dolphin's back really, really well when you when you looked uh, on, the, on the albino dolphin. Like, so I guess, you know, dolphins get into scrapes and, and whatnot, but like encounters with other creatures or brushing up against things like boats, 
propellers are really, really bad and dangerous for dolphins. That's how a lot of dolphins get killed. Um, uh, but it, it like it was just really, really interesting because you could really see all these all these marks. It almost looked like somebody had been playing like tic tac toe on the back of a dolphin. If you Google albino dolphins, you'll probably find some pictures, some really cool pictures of it. Does anybody have any questions thus far? No, okay. All right, so I'm actually gonna darken up the, this side of his fin. He's working in layers, lots and lots of layers. I'm going to darken this up down here is his, uh, his fluke tail. So working with, if you've ever used watercolor pencils, you kind of want to keep your, your strokes nice and light um, because what you do at the end is you introduce the water after, after you've done the drawing and it will make the colors kind of blend together, which is kind of like a nice little trick. But you want to, especially because I'm doing this for you guys now, I want to save adding the water for the la at last. And so in order to get like a nice blend of colors, you don't want to go too dark. You kind of almost want to keep things nice and light to make sure the colors really blend together. And this um, flipper is going to be nice and dark. And I'm actually going to introduce a third color. I think I might bring in some purples. Do some dark over here. You can see I, I always turn my paper when I'm working as opposed to turning my um, pencil because I, I think it's easier as an artist to keep your hand in the same position and just move your paper around. Um, it makes it much, much easier on you when you are uh, working on, co especially color and stuff like this. Okay. Add in some shadow underneath here where his flipper is. a little shadow up on top. All right, I'm going to break out a little more purple. I, obviously, the, the colors are not dark enough yet for my liking. So I really, really, really want to emphasize that, that contrast between the lights and the darks. I happen to have a, um, uh, it's just a Uniball Signo pen. It has white ink in it, which I may, depending on how this looks, I may introduce at the very end to add in a little bit of um, highlights, but it just depends. I'll have to wait and see if I want to use it or not. Does anybody have any questions or anybody like want to share anything that they've done? It doesn't have to be a dolphin. It could be anything that they've worked on. I always want to see your work. I'm always interested in what you guys are working on, what you're doing. There's mm -hmm. Oliver. Well, nice. yeah, I just worked on this quick sort of um, cartoon dolphin. Nice. You know. Nice. Awesome. I love I it. Just, I'm going to be drawing more throughout the class because, yeah. um, because um, I think it's just kind of fun drawing them. Awesome. Yeah. Draw as many and as many different positions as you want. Like I said, this is, this is all about, you don't have to be drawing what I'm drawing. This is more just kind of to, to, to see how, how one artist might choose to do something like this. And you can, you can take how I draw and change it. You could, you, if you want to draw along with me, you can. If you want to just watch and draw your own thing, that's totally fine too. 
um, you are your own artist. And even if you are drawing along with me, I never ever expect that your picture looks like mine because it's, you're, you're your own person. You're, it would be very strange if your art looks like mine, and especially if you've been drawing, like Oliver, I know you've been drawing dolphins and you've been drawing characters, your drawings are gonna look like you, not like, like me, which is great. So this is more for people who, well, this is for everybody, but it's, but hopefully people who maybe have not ever drawn a dolphin will be um, inspired to maybe try their hand out and drawing their own. Kat would like to share. Kat, let's see. What's going on? I've drawn some draw dolphins before, so I decided to start working on this manta ray. It's not Ooh. finished yet. Oh, nice. That looks yeah. great. I like the shape. Were you looking at a picture? Yeah, I looked up the anatomy of them, kind of awesome. see how they looked, and then I started looking at live photos. So now I'm going to color it in and shade it. Awesome. I like it. I, I like your process. I see. I like that you have the, I see like the, the actual form. I can see that the, the cat that you've been drawing through the form of, of your manta ray, which is awesome. So I know that that <laughs> takes that, that's like the first thing, which you are, you're nailing, which is awesome. Very nice. Is anybody else working on anything? Are you working on anything Tater? Um, Heather, Liliana? Another rose. Anybody, anybody doing some cool stuff? Tater would like to share. Well, yeah, let's see, Tater. Um, so not sure how many people here play D and D or have heard of it, but like, there's this one species called a Kenku, and they're basically bird people. So I was like, huh, what if I made a Kenku bard that's a seagull? So like. <laughs> I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, he's cool. I I dig the uh, the forms that you have. His like little wacky little legs. Yeah. <laughs> he's fun. He's super fun. Yeah, I'll it. probably throw him into a campaign if I ever get the chance because yeah. uh, he'd be such a fun NPC to have running around. Yeah, he's super fun. Super, super fun. That's awesome. Very cool. Thanks for sharing him with us. Anybody else have anything um, going on? Anything else they're drawing? Liliana and Heather Rose say they're drawing cards for their brother. Oh, you're oh you're making cards for your brother. Is that like his birthday? Or a special occasion or event? Ah, nice, awesome. Anything in particular you're adding on to them? Does he have like a favorite of anything? <laughs> favorite animal, favorite color, favorite food. <laughs> His birthday is the 6th. Oh, that's coming up. August 6th. That's a Friday, I think. Nice. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take some black. And I'm gonna start adding in the eye. I'm gonna leave a little highlight here. And I'm also going to start to emphasize some of these curves and lines. Okay. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out a little bit of that watercolor. Maybe maybe not the last thing, but one of the last one of the next the next thing I'm gonna do. Break out some of this watercolor and I'm just using a really small brush. And I'm gonna see right now if I've added enough. Oh yeah. So that's gonna start to bring these colors together.
And it's gonna kind of darken everything up a little bit too, which is kind of nice. Here we go. So I'm not using any really special paper. I, I should probably be using a watercolor paper, but I couldn't, I didn't have any. So I'm just using regular, it's like cardstock. Wait, for your Kenku Bards hat, uh, yeah, your feathers on the side of hats, like a Robin Hood. He has that with a lock of human hair. Whoa, that's creep. That's kind of crazy. Is it like a human that's special to him? <laughs> Blend that together. Come right down. Walking birds in a trash can. <laughs> That's, that would be really funny. <laughs> he just like randomly takes somebody's hair out of the trash can. What's his name going to be? Do you know? Do you have like a any thoughts on that yet? Ten days should be. It's a pretty. That's a pretty long time. You'll be okay. Ten. There's a lot, you can get a lot done in 10 days. I guess it depends on how exactly how elaborate you're, you're going for. You'll have to show us. Tell, tell us what your, what, your, what your plan is. Oh, no way. Oh, that's awesome. My, my husband just started playing Skyward Sword. <laughs> I don't know if you've played that one. He has not played that one yet, but we are big Zelda fans. Obviously, we named our daughter Zelda. <laughs> it's the um, 81st anniversary of Bugs Bunny today. Is it? Oh my gosh! It's the eighty-first. I. You know what? I didn't even know that. That's amazing. You're like yep. you're like super fan. That's awesome, Scott. Did you know that? I didn't even know that. I I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Oh my gosh! All right, so. There's my dolphin mostly done. I'm going to wait for it to dry just a little bit. And I think I would like to go back and emphasize this. Try to do it while it's a little bit damp. That's going to be a really, really cool card. I agree, Scott. You're doing Ocarina of Time and um, uh, is it Majora or Majora? I don't have to pronounce that name, but I don't know that one. But yeah, I think. The one, the one that gets played most in our house is, um, oh my gosh, what's the one that came out a few years ago? It's like the really, the most recent one. Breath of the Wild? Yes. Breath of the Wild? Yes, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's, that's the one that gets played most in our house. I don't really play it. I just, I've watched him play it. I'm not a big gamer, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really pretty game. <laughs> it's a really, really pretty game. And you know, they're coming out with a new one. I think they're gonna and it's gonna be released pretty soon, I think. Okay. All right. So maybe I'll take no, uh, no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not wanna do it while it's wet, but all right. So I have I have some of my dolphin here. That's awesome. Do you guys wanna share your cards? I'd love to see them. I know you're not you're not done yet, but I would totally love to see. 
if you'd like to, that is. If not, don't worry. Okay. Darken up this line, clean up this line a little bit. And then when it's a little more dry, I'll go through and I'll erase. I can do it a little bit actually. It work, it's working right now. You, you got to be careful when you're doing it while it's wet. But I would go in and I clean up, clean up some of my lines and erase some of those original pencil lines that I had. But if you don't want, you don't really want to do that while it's wet, because it'll uh, you have a tendency to tear the paper if if that if that happens. Okay. Wow, that was quicker than I thought. I don't think I've I've finished in, in like that quickly before. Does anybody have any questions? Oh yeah, Lily and Heather, I see your hands up. What's up? Uh okay, so here's mine. Oh wow. He's awesome. These are all awesome. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's really elaborate. That's really, really there elaborate. No progress yet, but that's the sketch. Yeah. Oh, that's that's out. Like I can I can totally see you're nailing like you, the, even the shape of the boots. What's on top of or what's behind him? Um, since I'm going to draw all of the characters above him, I've put the villains from both of the games, oh, and next okay. to him is Saria, which is not done. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm sure. I hope your brother appreciates the time and effort you were putting into this. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we finished a little early. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Scott, that is pretty awesome. Like, I, yeah, I, I think that's really, really, really cool. Um, all right, well, we have a little bit of extra time. Is there anything else that you would like to draw? We can, we can freestyle now. Are there any, any suggestions? I don't know. I was thinking maybe something like Looney Tunes trivia or something. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Um, all right. You know what? I'm going to make a list for, I'm going to make a list for maybe next month or for September. <laughs> Looney Tunes trivia sounds like a really fun game that we could be putting together while we, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll draw it on my sketch of the dog. Looney Tunes trivia. <laughs> Actually, yeah. So I'd love to take your, um, uh, your thoughts. If anybody has any other thoughts of, um, either characters they want to draw or animals they want to focus on. Like I said, the ones that we've done so far in my, in my classes have been cats, dogs, birds, rabbits, horses, and now dolphins. So if there's any other type of animal that you guys are interested in learning or um, any, anything else, like any, anything that you think you feel like you really want to get better at working on, it could be like, different mediums you want to work in if you I bet we could uh, maybe next week we could do a narwhal okay so narwhals narwhals would be kind of interesting okay anything else what are some other I was I want to know your suggestions <laughs> you think you would win at that tater <laughs> I don't know. Scott knows a lot of, I feel like Scott would know a lot of Star Wars trivia. You, you know a lot of Star Wars trivia, right, Scott? <laughs> I might. do. I was just typing, <laughs> typing my <laughs> reply into the chat. I would probably I, come in second place because I, I know Tater is very knowledgeable. <laughs> I'd, probably, I'd probably get third because I'm also very good at this. Awesome. All right. So, so tr some trivia. So, okay. So we're, 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 we have some trivia requests of some Looney Tunes and or maybe some Chuck Jones trivia scattered in. Um, narwhals uh, could be something that would be fun to learn how to draw. Are there any other thoughts? Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be a real thing. It could be like, you know, aliens or it could be it could be something like backgrounds i know we've been focusing a lot on the characters but backgrounds are kind of nice to learn uh, um, maybe I well i was thinking we could since we did cat since you did cats maybe we could try and do mice oh 
Ooh, we've not done mice. That would be a fun one. Okay. Mice would be a good, a good, uh, a good suggestion. Okay. So mice, narwhals. Are there any other animal species? I know that, uh, I, I was thinking crocodiles. Platypi. Say that again. Platypus. Oh, platypi. Plat platypi. Yeah, is plat what is the plural of platypus? Is it platypi? Platy um, platy I'm pretty sure. Because like, platypi. instead of saying octopuses, you say octopi. Octopi, yeah. All right, so platypus. Actually, I have this really neat, neat book that is like all sorts of random, almost extinct animals. And it's just very, or animals that are on like the endangered list. Um, and some of the ones that are really, I'm always like, like, wow, are, um, uh, not the platypus, but the, um, oh my gosh, the aardvarks. Oh my gosh. All these aardvarks are so crazy looking. Ooh, ooh, iguanas. Iguanas. Ooh, okay. Iguanas. So, so crocodiles, I'm, crocodiles and iguanas are kind of related because like, they're both rep, on the reptile family. So that might be kind of fun to do. Chameleons are, would also be cool. Yeah, chameleon would be really neat. Okay. Okay. So awesome. All right, I have a good list here. I like that I like that somebody came up with mice because we haven't done many, many mice. And there's like a nice Chuck Jones um, overlap there with uh, Jerry. Jerry is a mouse. There's a lot of good cartoon mice, actually. Mickey, well, you looked it up, Tater. <laughs> Platypodes. Who knew? Who knew? Thank you. I've learned something today. Thank you, Tater. Platypodes. <laughs> well, um, um, fun fact about Jerry and Mickey Mouse at the same time. In 1945's Anchors Away, um, uh. Mickey Mouse was originally going to be the guy dancing with Gene Kelly, but um, Boy Disney refused because um, he didn't want Disney Studios working um, for Metro Gold Mire at the time, even though they were in debt around 1945. Which uh, was sort of, and like their golden age already ended, and so I can understand that. They had like one of the shortest golden ages ever, in my opinion, because like, it's like Looney Tunes had like such a long gold mage. Mm -hmm. it, like it like ended around late 1950s and started in 1930. That's like over 20 years. So what would you consider, who do you, who, what, what, do you think there's a studio in a golden age right now? Not really. No, not even like Pixar or anything? I mean, it's like, Pixar was good for like the late '90s and early 2000s. Maybe they've already well, think they maybe already had their their uh their golden age. Yeah, like it ended sort of where where Up ended because that I consider one of their golden age films. <laughs> okay. Because like it's like it sort of lost their comedy after that. Like Toy Story Four isn't it's like. It's like you barely get a laugh out of it compared to the no original Toy Story. If you're, yes, really. if you're going for comedy, I think they were going for more sentimentality. Yeah. But now it's sort <laughs> of like, it's like. Oh. And, yes. Oh, I was going to say, Lily and Heather, what about Star Wars trivia? <laughs> um. It, that's very true, Scott. Yeah, you don't you don't actually realize when you're in it. It's it's that is true. Um, uh, I think that I think that people were just suggesting doing Star Wars trivia because we have a lot of very knowledgeable Star Wars heads right here. <laughs> Tater and Scott and Oliver all uh, are huge uh, huge Star Wars fans. Ooh, I am too. I have actually. another one. Yeah, go this, ahead. The history of cartoons quiz. Ooh, the history of cartoons quit a quiz. Okay, so you guys are interested in trivia and quizzes, looks like, okay. All right, but I like I like the suggestions for things to draw. Um, are there any mediums that you guys would like to work on? I know that um, uh, Ben and Mike Funt and there's some other 
um, uh, instructors that are going to be, you know, available in, in, um, in August and September. Ooh, acrylics, acrylics, okay. So yeah, are there, if there's any mediums that you're interested in, in, um, in learning a little more about, so acrylics is a good example of that. I know that um, Scott hasn't been, been doing a lot of ink, ink drawings this, this past month. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was thinking, um, I had this cool idea of um, maybe we could learn how to draw objects. Like what type of objects? You know, like furniture and stuff like that, because it'll really come in handy, like when we're drawing okay. things. We've, I've definitely, we've definitely done that, but we can definitely do a recap or a, do a, a, a go back over and do like um, uh, furniture and, and uh, household objects. That's always a fun thing to, um, to work on. And there's always another object to draw. Sorry that this class just, I, I, we finished a little early on my drawing. So I, I'm just, I'm very curious as to what you guys would like to learn how to, what you would like to learn to do, because that can, we can kind of, we're plan, we're in the planning mode now for some of the months that are coming up. So I'm just curious, kind of taking a, an informal poll of the things that you are interested in guys. So if you have anything that you're interested and would like to, to learn, um, chime in. Please do chime in. Nothing is off the table right now. You can switch over to me, my face. Otherwise, we might just end a little early today because this was a very quick. Apparently, dolphins are a very, a very quick thing to draw. <laughs> um, does anybody else want to share? Anybody else want to share anything that they've worked on? I guess it doesn't have to be what we did today. It could be something that you're just working on in general or something you want um, some um uh in, like some critique on or some help with well um all these uh all these um uh sea creature pictures i've been drawing like um like one of my personal favorites um is uh my whale shark yeah he's a good one what may, what what are you using when you're adding your color is it oh well um I'm using um, Caliart markers. Mm -hmm. They just really come in handy, but it really does make your desk a mess when you have like, when you have to deal with like 200 of them. <laughs> well, I'm glad the colors do come out really nice. I'm glad you have a variety so you can do lots of colors. Um, Lily, how do you, oh, it's, one of you drew a, an 81 year old bugs. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, you mean like in the old gray hair? Hold on, let's see, they're showing us. <laughs> it's a little hard to see because of the light behind. Will you hold it up one more time? Uh, one Give me this light. Yeah, there we go. That'll be a little better, just easier to see. Oh, <laughs> I see with his cane. He looks real tired. <laughs> you should do one with like a walker. <laughs> I love it, that's great. I'm yeah, one of, yeah, there's this one cartoon that actually does do that concept. Um, uh, yeah, it is the old gray hair, which is one of my favorites. Yeah. It's, um, it's a, um, Robert Clampett cartoon and I really recommend it. Cool. It's one of the only, it's, um, probably, um, one of the, um, it's, well, it's, um, one of the very, a few cartoons um where um well i think it's probably the only cartoon where where elmer fudd's actually crying in the beginning and not in the ending <laughs> all right well thanks thanks for sharing um and i love your 81 year old bugs uh heather rose i think that's awesome <laughs> i think it's a really funny really funny drawing um okay guys well on that note, then we're gonna I think we're gonna finish a few minutes early because we uh, we went really fast. Yes, Simeon. Okay, so um, this is my dad's dolphin. Oh, that's amazing! Your dad did an awesome job. Really beautiful work. And then this is mine. 
Oh my gosh, I loved the background. That I was hoping somebody would add in a background to their dolphin, um, and you did, and that came out awesome. That's amazing. That's so good, and the way you did the water in the splashing, it's water is really, really challenging to do. Um, it's very, um, it, 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 it takes a lot of work. Actually, I have, a, um, I have an uncle who is an, is a, he's a, he worked for um, Disney and he actually was an animator on um, The Little Mermaid. And his, he, he, one of his jobs was to draw in the water and he has like a whole, like he, the research that he did just for drawing in water in The Little Mermaid is kind of amazing. But Simeon, that's awesome. Both you and your dad did an amazing job. Yeah, so my, my uncle, how he would, he would Thank study you. wood carvings, um, uh, like old Japanese wood carvings of water. And uh, because the way that they captured like the, the waves and like, and just the water into simple lines is really, really well done. So that's one of the, one of the things that he looked at, but water is not easy and you, you guys, you nailed it. It's awesome. Uh, Tater, sorry, I'm reading your, your message. Yeah. That's true. I really liked Soul. I really liked the most recent one. I thought Soul was like a really, a really well done um, uh, uh, picture. If you haven't seen, this is not, I don't remember which studio it's out of, but I think I've mentioned it before. Wolf Walkers is also a really interesting animation. I saw it kind of recently. And the animation is, it's like an, a very cool blend of 3D animation, um, but it's all, it's, they, they, they designed everything uh, on using, I'm not sure which program, but they designed everything using three-dimensional models. And then, oh, that's okay, Tater. And then they, they hand drew over it, uh, which is really time consuming, but it came out with some really cool effects. Um, all right, guys, well, on that note, unless anybody else would like to share, we are gonna end a few minutes early. And thank you for the, for the uh, suggestions. If you guys ever do have any um, suggestions uh, or if you'd ever want to, um, just in general, if you want to uh, suggest something to draw or have questions after class, I'm actually gonna put my email down here. I don't think I've ever given you my email before, but you guys are all, all friends now. Scott, you'll have to take this part out though. <laughs> All right, there you go. I put my email in the thing in the um, in the chat. So if you're if you if you ever have any suggestions on things you would like to learn how to draw, or just general questions about um, the, the the class, then you feel free to email me. All right, guys. I will see you when I see you next time. All right. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Bye. Bye you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye.